good day to Dr. Fahana. We are from Group 5 and I'm the group leader, Liu Jing, and the group members are Kokui, Farah Elena, and Ranjit. So today we are going to present about the experiment to flow measurement. First of all, I will start with the theory. Orifice, split, nozzle, and ventrae are used to measure fluid velocities and flow rates. Operation of each is based on the same physical principle, whereby an increase in velocity results in a decrease in pressure. For orifice plate, the opening smaller than the pipe diameter which is inserted in the pipe. Fluid velocity increase due to small opening and hence causing a decrease in pressure. Flow rate can be calculated from the measure pressure drop across the orifice plate, which P1 minus P2. For nozzle, apply the same principle and calculation as orifice plate with only changes on cross-sectional area of the nozzle. Nozzle also have different shape of restricted opening with orifice plate. And next, for ventury. Ventury consists of a rapidly converging section which increases the velocity of flow and hence reduce the pressure. It then returns to the original dimension of the pipe by gently diverging the diffuser. Discharge coefficient can be calculated by measuring the pressure difference. Hi and assalamualaikum, my name is Nufar Elina Bittikamar Zaman. So next, I'll be sharing about the report summary and the results we obtained from this experiment. First of all, in this experiment, we could obtain the flow rate measurement with comparison of the discharge coefficient by utilizing three basic types of flow meters, which are orifice plate, nozzle, and venturi meter. There are two Q to calculate the actual Q and the theory Q. The actual Q is obtained by using the constant volume of 3 liter and the time taken of water to reach until 3 liter for each experiment. While the Q theory is obtained by using the initial and the final cross sectional area of devices and the water level differences in manometer with different types of flow meter. Next, this is the result that we obtained from the experiment. From this experiment, it is found that battery meter is the most accurate compared to the other two devices which are orifice plate and nozzle. This is obtained by analyzing the average of CD value. Because the closer the average of CD value to 1, the more accurate it is. That's all from me. I'll pass to the next presenter. I'm Eugene and I'm going to continue with the discussion on difference on water level in manometer with different types of flow meter. Based on the three graph below, it can be clearly seen that H1 increase as the flow rate of water increase, while H2 decrease as flow rate of water increase. The difference between H1 and H2 getting bigger as the flow rate of water increase. The drop in water level of manometer is based on the change in diameter. By examining equation 1, we can relate that the pressure loss between two points of flow meter is proportional to the difference in height of manometer water level. That is, the higher the difference in manometer reading, the higher the pressure drop. Referring to the data collected from our experiment, it shows that the pressure drop is the highest in venturi. Thus, sensitivity of venturi meter is the highest. Hi, I'm Kohei, and now I'll continue with question 2 which is the difference in the discharge coefficient value for each of the flow meter and rank the flow meter according to the accuracy. So, this discharge coefficient actually is an important parameter to determine the accuracy of the flow meter. The discharge coefficient is the ratio of the actual flow rate we get from the experiments to the theoretical flow rate. So, the smaller the value between the actual value and the theoretical value, the narrower the value of the discharge coefficients to 1 and then the higher the accuracy for the flow meter. And hence, we have several factors that make the actual value difference from the theoretical value. First, we have the frictions, and second, we have the environmental factor, such as the temperature change, and also other effects from the nearby apparatus that will affect the experiment's value. And third, we have the parallax. So this type of the error, it may occur because there must be some distance between the measuring scales and the indicator that we use to obtain a measurement. So, from this table, we can see that the orifice plate average CD value was 0.6852 and for the nozzle was 
1.0535 and for the Venturi meter was 0 0.9607. So from this data that we get, we can know that the Venturi meter average CD value was the nearest to 1. So this means that the Venturi meter was the most accurate flow rate if you compare with the orifice plate and also the nozzle. So next is for the nozzle average CD value. We can see that the nozzle average CD value is nearer to 1 if we make a comparison with the orifice plate. So we can rank the flow meter according to their accuracy where the Venturi meter will be the most accurate flow meter according and then followed by the nozzle and then followed by the orifice plate. Hello everyone, I'm Ranjit. Here I'm going to discuss about the question number 3. So the question is about the factors contributing to errors or inaccuracy in experimental data. So there are several factors. One of them is in the experiment there might be a parallax mistake while reading the values of H1, H2, flow rate and volume. And the number two, uh, the human mistake occurs as a result of carelessness or human limits due to human's inability to monitor time as precisely as machines. The time taken in the experiment may not be exact. So number three is any resistance which is caused by the pipe or instrument may have an impact on the data accuracy in this experiment since the coefficient of discharge depends directly on the rate of flow and velocity of working fluid. And the last one is the presence of air bubbles. The tube will cause experiment mistake. So in the same question, we are asked to determine the possible recommendations to improve the existing results. So there are several possible recommendations for this. One of them is uh, to repeat the experiment at least three times to obtain the best accurate data. And the second, uh, second one is check the tube from time to time to ensure it is free of air bubbles. The third one is keep eyes perpendicular to the scale at all times. The last one, when the fluid is flowing, use the tube with the least resistance. So as a conclusion, this experiment shows that Venturi meter is the most accurate flow meter device. That's all from us. Thank you.